Scattered among the beautiful places of the Philippines, you'll find some places that are terrifying, scary, and haunted as well. If you're brave enough, continue watching this episode as we are about to look at 10 of the scariest places in the Philippines. Boo! <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to FCD Facts. Leroy Kenton here and for this episode we're going to be continuing our Philippines series so let the horror begin. Starting at number 10 we have the Baleti Drive. This is a two-lane street in Quezon City and it's believed to be haunted by a white veiled lady who appears often just out of nowhere. Trees line the road so that adds to the scary feeling and as the story goes, the white veiled lady is the ghost of a girl who passed away in a car accident and she had gotten lost so she tried to hitch a ride with somebody else so she could just make it back home. Now, other stories say that the ghost is actually of a young lady from the Spanish era. Either way, driving down the street, especially at nighttime, is not advised. The place at number 9 is Ozone Disco. On March 18, 1996, a fire broke out in this disco and more than 100 people lost their lives. Most of them were students that were graduating from local universities and nowadays Ozone Disco is an abandoned disco but there have been many reports of strange activities happening there at night. People have seen things like disco lights flashing, they have heard sounds of people, as well as have seen silhouettes of people dancing. Number eight leads us to Bale Negrensi. Bale Negrensi is an ancestral house located in the province of Negros Occidental and it was the home of a sugar baron and the house still contains several rooms for his 12 children. It's been maintained up until now and it serves as a tourist destination and a museum at the same time. Now what makes this place creepy though is that the rooms are so preserved, like it looks like somebody still lives in them. There are also rooms that have mirrors in the house and looking into them gives you that feeling that somebody might appear behind you at any time. You know, kind of like in the movies where somebody's looking in the mirror and then they see the figure appear behind them and they turn around and nothing's there. Yeah, <laughs> that feeling. Fort Santiago is up next at number seven. This historic site turns really creepy at nighttime. Before the Philippines liberation, Fort Santiago was the center of both American and Spanish colonial governments. The city's walls still stand tall during the day, but in the evenings, they give off a very dark and spooky vibe. There have been many reported sightings of ghosts of Filipino soldiers in that area, and residents also claim to hear screaming from the dungeons. It's said that the Japanese really tormented and got rid of many, many Filipino soldiers during the World War II era. Next up, I gotta talk about the Manila Film Center. The Manila Film Center is infamous for a construction accident that happened on November 17th, 1981, where more than 100 construction workers fell from the collapsed scaffolding and they were buried in cement. It's believed by some people that the construction workers were actually buried on purpose because, you know, conducting a search and rescue operation and even going and recovering bodies of those who did not survive would take a long time and that would delay the construction of the building. Some people who have visited the building reported wailing sounds and screams of men in pain and it's believed that these are the spirits of those who were buried in the cement. Halfway in at number five, we have Bahay Napula. Bahay Napula, also known as the Red House, it got its name from its color. And the house actually looks like it's been taken straight out of a classic horror film. It's considered to be one of the top tourist destinations in the Philippines for ghost hunters. And it's believed that this house was the place where women were held captive and burned during the Japanese era. Some visitors believe that the red color of the house might actually be stains of blood that seeped through the very fiber of the house and stained it forever. Wailing sounds, screams, and temperature changes, as well as creepy feelings like people are watching you, have all been experienced by people. So yeah, this house has been the topic of 
discussion for some time and uh, recently they even made a film about it. Next up, we journey over into Lambusan Public Cemetery. As a public cemetery, it is believed to be a prime spot for hauntings. When the family members of those who passed away can no longer afford to pay the rent on their graves, well, their loved ones' remains are then placed in a communal space. And it's known as one of the most depressing cemeteries in the world. You can't really avoid seeing skulls and bones just scattered everywhere. Couldn't imagine the sight. Malinta Tunnel comes next. Malinta Tunnel is one of the scariest places in the Philippines. Like any other tunnel that can give you an uneasy feeling of being trapped and boxed in, well, this tunnel is one of the places where a lot of soldiers were eliminated. Shadows as well as unexplainable noises and even sudden changes in wind direction and temperature, all of that stuff. That has all been reported to have manifested here at the tunnel. From there, we look at the La Peral Mansion. Before being the site of the Philippines Bamboo Foundation's Ifugao Bamboo Carvings exhibit, the La Peral White House was shrouded in mystery. People reported seeing a woman dressed in white and a small child inside. Now, the Japanese had reportedly used this mansion as a chamber to torment people during the World War II era, as well as all sorts of evils were done to women while they slept. This is why the caretakers of the mansion, who claim to have seen ghosts several times, they stay on guard while they're inside of the house. It's even been reported that taxi drivers have refused to travel down the La Pearl Mansion's road at night, especially because of the sightings that they might see. Now we end this episode off at number one, we have the Diplomat Hotel. The Dominicans built the Diplomat Hotel in the year 1911 as a seminary. And at first it was converted into a school, then eventually it was converted into a hotel. Now there are some rumors that exist out there that when the Japanese conquered Baguio, the nuns and priests who had taken in fleeing Filipinos were eliminated in very unsettling ways. And over the years, many residents and visitors reported hearing screams and seeing ghosts with no heads. Yeah, definitely creepy. But there you have it, guys. This was a look at the 10 of the scariest places in the Philippines. Let me know down below in the comment section if you've heard of any of these places. Have you been to any of them? And let me know also if you believe that other scary places should have been in this list. Maybe I'll do a part two. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to leave a like. And if this is your first time here to the channel, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are posted. We explore the various different countries, cultures, religions, and people of our world here on FTD Facts. So if those topics interest you, join the FTD Facts family, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.